What is up everybody, you already should have a go. It's your boy B back with another freaking video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones and I specialize in helping you make an extra income in today. Guys, we're gonna be talking about hustle versus grind. I first off wanna say how happy I am um, to be one in the position that I am in. And also, I wanna give words of encouragement to anybody that's going through anything, whether it's your entrepreneur journey or if it's something personal. Guys, I'm just getting my camera back. If you don't know, um, about maybe seven months ago, uh, my my car was robbed and they took all of my camera equipment. They took my MacBook, they took my phones. I was playing basketball at a um, Kobe Bryant court at a Kobe Bryant ceremony. Um, and I put it online and somebody just came. I guess they saw that I was there and broke into my car. And yeah, I, it took me a while to get a camera because I just haven't pulled the plug. And I really didn't feel like it was necessary. But recently, I, I've i been thinking. And I'm like, well, I'm almost about to hit 1K on Hustler Taught Me. At this point, right now, on Hustler Taught Me, literally, um, I have 996, guys. 996. So... I'm just really thankful, one, that I am gaining subscribers on this channel. Um, but I want to talk about how important it is, literally, to have the hustle um, and for you to really understand what's the difference between just having it and grinding. So I lost everything. I did. Uh, my car got broken into. I lost everything. I lost uh, my relationship at the time. I lost my pride because again I attached a lot of my value to material things and me losing my camera it took a lot of joy out of me creating content and if you guys don't know content is really how I grind like I, I make money yes from content but content is also something that I do because I love connecting with people I love to share and spread the wealth that I do, have, you know, wealth and knowledge that I do have. And me losing it all, it sort of kind of took that hustle from me. Um, but most importantly, it, it delayed my grind. And if you don't know, I took a break from YouTube for a while, came back on, took a break, came back on, took a break. But lately, I've been really, really consistent and I'm really proud of myself. And the reason I share this story with you is because if you're somebody that has went through hardship, whether it's your eBay getting banned or whether it's your significant other not supporting you in your business or your family not supporting you in your business and it takes away from the repetition of habits that you know you need to install to get to the successful point that you want to go to. I want you to re really re remember like when we lose our motivation, it means a lot to us. Like, we, we start to snowball, right? We start to fall into bad habits. We stop seeing results. And, and, and obviously, you stop seeing the results because you're not being consistent. But all of that, it can hurt you. Um, and it just keeps getting worse until you're just down, down bad on the bottom. Um, I was so scared to start posting on Hustler Told Me. I was so scared because I'm like, well... I went from almost having 10K on Educated Hustler to now I'm just going to upload on Hustler Taught Me and try to get it to 1K. And I'm just like, no, why would I do that? Nobody's going to watch me. And I did it, stayed steady. And that's where you have to understand hustle is the main component I think every entrepreneur should have, not just the grind, because the grind is in my i'm a defined grind grind in my perspective is when you have a habit or a routine or a skill that you exhibit on an everyday basis right and that grind is like i'm gonna wake up every day i'm gonna grind at my nine to five i'm grinding bro i'm grinding like i'm literally putting effort into this one thing or multiple things but these are all 
routines. And these routines obviously get me results. But when it comes to the hustle, hustle is, hey, no matter if I don't have a routine, no matter if I don't have anything, literally, but the clothes on my back, I'm going to find a way to find a way. I'm going to find a way to be able to feed myself, feed my family, be able to stay afloat. It, hustle to me is when you understand that you'll do whatever it takes, but it has to be ethical, obviously, to survive. You know what I mean? And you you find ways to survive. Just like when I played basketball, you would have the person like me that has the skill and shoot, dunk, uh, play defense, very, very great at footwork. I was really good at all of that. But like, if I go to a court right now, I'm going to be a ball hog. I'm a jack. I'm going to just keep the ball. I'm going to shoot. But when it comes to defense, I'm not going to play defense really hard. I'm not. And you always have that person and then you have that person that they might not know how to shoot. They may not know how to dribble. They might not have any fundamentals. But one thing they have is they run their asses around. They always find themselves getting a rebound. And that is hustle. And my, my coach always told me, one thing you cannot teach Brandon I can't teach hustle. I cannot teach hustle. And him saying that, I never really understood what he meant. But now looking back at it, I fully understand. As an entrepreneur, I'd rather have the hustle over the grind any day because the grind, it depends on my environment. It depends on how I'm feeling, but that hustle every single day, I wake up and it's in me. I gotta find that rebound, I gotta find a way. And I wanna really not just be inspirational to people out there, but I really wanna say like, it's gonna take a lot for people to stop you if you have hustle, it's gonna take a lot. And you start to understand that failure is not the end all be all, right? Like. Just because you fail at something doesn't necessarily mean that you're bad at it. You could have had a bad day. You could have had a bad approach. Just because you fail doesn't mean it has to be a negative. It can also be a positive. You can fail and also understand, hey, I did fail at this, but I learned this. And to everybody out there... I want you to understand how important it is to always embrace that hustle inside of you. Do I think everybody has it? No. I'm not here to lie to you. I don't think everybody has hustle. I don't think everybody has hustle in them. I think some people are born workers. Some people are born to wait to, to be given orders. I do believe that. But you have some people that are built to literally, no matter what, if they're by themselves or if they're in a room with a unit of individuals, they always know how to hustle and how to get it. And that's where, you know, I try to put my attention to the people that know how to hustle. So I want to ask you, do you have the hustle or do you just have the grind? I know you went to work today. I know you, you work in, you might be getting paid soon this week. Great, right? You're getting paid for your grind, but you're not getting paid for your hustle because your hustle is going far and beyond just going to a nine to five way beyond that because see your grind which would be your job is circumstances it's all, it's all based on circumstances because your, your boss can decide to fire you tomorrow so it's all about understanding what you have inside of you and embracing it and i hope you guys do that and I hope you guys understand that um, this channel is here for all of the hustlers. And if you don't have no hustle or you're not sure if you had a hustle, tap in, keep watching me, ask me questions, join the Reselling Academy, and we're going to bring it out of you for sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.